see what recovery timeline for Zion and Ray and Gino? Um, yeah, I'll expect them all um, to be full go or close to full go for fall camp. You know, Lake will probably be just because his injury was later than the others. Uh, he'll probably be the latest one, but he's way ahead, so he's definitely got a shot to, to certainly be a participant and hopefully a full participant in fall camp. The other two certainly will be. Uh, so all three of those guys, really, really hard workers, like guys that attack the process. Like you don't worry about their – you know, their mentality or their aggressiveness in terms of their rehab. So if they're all ahead, uh, you know, Zion and Gino are starting to get to the point where they can do a few things functionally out on the field. Lake's still a little bit further behind them. Um, but, yeah, very hopeful and, and expecting that in all the season. Coach, which early and early freshmen have stood out to you so far? Hard to say after two days. I mean, I there's not any that I would give back. Um, so, um, <laughs> which I guess you can now, right? So, um no, it's been uh, it, it, it's been so far so good. I mean, I, I like the young linebackers, kind of how they move and fly around. Uh, they've caught my eye. Um, you know, Gallegos, uh, Marcellus have, have certainly caught my eye. All of the young guys on the front. You know, you see the the size, the length, the potential. Um, all of those guys certainly you know are, are exciting. So. Uh, Brian Jackson's done some nice things. DJ Jordan's done some nice things. Um, yeah, some of the young linemen we like. I mean, yeah, all of them have. have uh, they're they're all still freshmen. They're all still swimming, but there's there's certainly some ability there. Coach, on Tuesday you talked about the patience of the team showing. How how was it today? Second day was it same or is it a little bit more energy? You had to pull it back. Um, probably a little bit more energy. We, we did a little bit more team and competitive drills today. And so you kind of felt the juice of it coming up and, uh, yeah, so probably even a little bit more energy here than the second day. And I think the excitement of going in, making some of the corrections and coming out knowing that you're going to be better and you can just see that across the board, which is really, really good. And so, uh, but obviously they're, they're excited for Saturday, you know, the, these, uh, these days are fun, but they don't prepare to, to put shoulder pads on and hearing the pops and, um, playing the game from a, from, from a physical standpoint. So looking forward to that. Um, I don't think I would delve into to the specifics of it. Um, you know, I think, I think Caleb made a, a, a decision, you know, based on his professional career, and uh, which, which, which I, which I certainly get. And um, you know, is he the type of teammate that would look at it and see that uh, on top of that, it, it could help another guy? Yes, um, but I don't know if it, I don't know if it's accurate that somebody just simply wouldn't play just because of that. So um, I know he obviously, as much as anybody, was obviously very excited for the other game. What do you anticipate Elijah Newby playing for you guys? We're working him um, at, at inside linebacker right now, um, but with his you know, with his speed and his athleticism, it'll be interesting to see kind of how that goes. Uh, and certainly, you know, kind of watching how his body develops, watching his ability to, to rush the passer. Um, so you obviously have to find a, a starting point for these guys. Uh, and that's that made the most sense for his body right now from a rep standpoint. But you know, you could envision him growing into a, a few different roles potentially, just because it is pretty rare athleticism and speed for a guy with his size and his length. So um, he's with Coach Hens right now, learning the whole defense, and we'll see where it evolves. Hey, you've had, sorry, you've, you've had a few transfer portal like, groups come in now. What stands out so far, maybe about this group, how they've matched in? Got yeah, it's a, it's a, you know, so far it seems like a very mature group. Uh, there's some really strong leaders out of it, which that, that's been, I think, really, really good. Um, pretty selfless group. It reminds me, it reminds me in a lot of ways of the, the group our first year coming in. It's not as many, obviously, but um, there's a lot of, a lot of mature guys, a lot of high energy guys, like you kind of feel their presence on the practice field, uh, even here in the beginning, which I think that's really important. So, Scott, you had another one. Oh, yeah, I was, I was just going to ask you if you ever had any players that could comp to Elijah Newby. Yeah, we had a 
I'm gonna take you way back. You won't know the name. We had a kid at uh, at East Carolina named Montes Overton that came and played for us there. He was a local kid um, from Greenville that could just fly and turned into a really good player. We ended up moving him all over on the edge, just all over the place, and he, he ended up being really, really special. I mean, I think the hope with a newbie is he could grow into somebody like a, almost like a Kenneth Murray was for us at Oklahoma. Now, Kenneth came in bigger, and then he kind of got faster. Yep. Newbie comes in pretty fast. He's going to get a little bit bigger, but I think you envision maybe that type of athlete at some point. You talked about getting you talked about getting bigger a lot uh, throughout the offseason. Was there a specific change in the strength conditioning program to kind of help facilitate that? Because it's, especially now, it's not just about lifting heavy sure. stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 a change philosophically within the program first. I mean, the, the strength and conditioning and the nutrition, like their job is to take the coach's vision and then put it on the guys or take it off the guys. Like they got to take that and, 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 you know, make it to fruition, right? So obviously there's been a big push on the, on, especially on the defensive front to get bigger uh, from a philosophical standpoint. And so we give that to, to Coach Wiley, to, to Rachel Suva, all of those people, and then they take it and run with it. And, yeah, the results, uh, even a couple months in, I know I shared a few the other day, but the, the results are, are are there. I mean, we are we are noticeably bigger at, at most spots. In a few spots, we are. I mean, there's some massive, massive changes in every uh, in every part of the word, right? So, um, yeah, it's just I think being in sync within your program, knowing what you want, uh, what you expect, and making sure that everybody's working hard to get that done. Along, along those lines was adding length in the secondary and at corner specifically a priority um, this offseason? Yeah, it was. It was. I mean, I think you're 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 always wanting that. I mean, I don't know that there's any defense that you that you don't want that, but we have been, uh, and I know we've talked about it some here in the first two years, at, at several positions we've been pretty small, and, uh, and that, that shows up. And when you're trying to obviously increase the physicality of your team, um, I think when you're going to, to more of a professional style uh, defensive scheme, I mean, all that fits, uh, certainly to have bigger DBs. So yeah, obviously the freshmen fit that. The transfers obviously add some pretty immediate length and size. So yeah, you can, uh, our quarterbacks have certainly been able to notice that the last few days. Thank you, Coach Riley.